you. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Lange, for a minute and a half, please. Thank you, Thank you Madam President, uh, Commissioner. It's important, I think, that following the Lisbon Treaty, we develop joint negotiation, because under the Lisbon Treaty, Parliament has a new role in trade relations. Now, if you also bear in mind that uh, India is a f market of the future, then that must feed back into a clear position of Parliament looking towards the industrial uh, development of Europe and uh, the maintenance of jobs in Europe, which is of central importance to us. So we need to be clear that in trade negotiations, Europe's industry and Europe's jobs are clearly represented. So a, a negotiation, of course, an agreement will have to be asymmetrical, but at the end of the day, the tariffs don't necessarily have to be zero. If we have a hundred percent against m machine tools or cars, and then we negotiate that down to 50 percent, it still isn't zero, and it still endangers investments outside Europe. So, Commissioner, we need a clear definition of what are our important points, and industry needs to be part of that, and the level playing field in social standards needs to be established and clear uh, obligations on labour standards in India. For one minute, please. Thank you, Mrs. Wallace. Uh, Domnule Comisar, dragi colegi, India is... Thank you. Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen, India is expanding, its economic growth is high, and it's one of the, the most important trading partners we have. And this FTA with